In the news today, house builders have enjoyed a flurry of activity on the back of government schemes and an improving economy, but there is a lack of bricks. Britain's biggest high street banks face being broken up as a result of a landmark competition inquiry, so that there is a more level playing field for so-called challenger banks. In personal finance, one in ten pensioner households is now worth more than one million pounds, the largest proportion since records began. SSE's energy prize freeze has failed to stem a customer exodus with 110,000 customers leaving in the three months since the pledge was announced. In property, Berkeley Group Managing Director has commented that the Bank of England's new rules on mortgage lending are absolute tosh and urges policymakers to focus on supply. He said that the FPC's plan that no more than 15% of a lender's mortgages can be greater than 4.5 times a borrower's income could prevent someone who has the right to buy a house from doing so. And in recruitment, Cameron plans a crackdown on strikes. Unions would only be able to press ahead with a strike if they secured a 50% turnout, and then the majority of those have to be in favour of industrial action. The Lib Dems want to introduce fines for companies who employ more than 250 people if they do not publish the difference in pay rates between men and women. But on a positive note, more jobs are being created in Britain than in the rest of Europe put together.